this video is honeysuckle. There's some growing wild near me so I went out and picked a few little sprigs and I must tell you that perfume is absolutely gorgeous. So I have the pleasure of not only painting it but also some in a vase nearby. So how am I going to tackle this? Hmm, tricky one. A bit like some of the other sprigs we've painted. Um, I've got to decide whether I'm going to do leaves first or flowers. I'm not going to worry with a background, I'm going to um, opt out of that one today. Um, I'm going to use a very simple colour palette. I'm looking at Naples Yellow, Alizarin Crimson and probably some uh, Prussian Blue and I don't know, maybe a bit of raw rumba, I'm not sure. But the way I'm going to approach this, I'm not going to follow this slavishly. As I say, um, it's a bit of a get out clause, really. But the idea is to enjoy the painting and learn different techniques. You're not a photographer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some of these buds up here. I'm going to put some flowers in and I'm going to have to work the leaves behind them. So what I've got is... Um, I've got my palette as near as I can get without getting my hand in it. Okay, so I'm going to have some Naples yellow. Mix that up there. And I'm going to add some alizarin crimson. Oh, what a super colour. Oh, isn't that just fabulous? Okay. That's come out very nice. Okay, so I'm looking at these chaps here. Remember, it's a, a relaxed watercolour sketch, not a botanical study. So let's have one up here. And down there. And of course, some of them are slightly different colours. You can see some of them are greener and paler, but you'll see how I will get round that. And remember what I always say, observe your subject first before you start painting. And also remember, if you can get a lot of the shape right and the colour right, then the rest will sort itself out. Right, rinse my brush off taking the moisture out and I'm now going to lift some of this out of the tip because if you look at those they're paler on the end because we can always come back and put a bit more colour in okay so what I'm doing with this base basic colour is I'm just putting the the bare the bare bones in so to speak That one's turned out a bit chunky, but never mind. And why not just put a few extra little sprigs in? Just to show what we're doing. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that Naples yellow and I'm going to add a bit of Prussian. Not that much. And that might give me the nice start of the green. So um, in some of these, I'm just going to drop a little bit of green in. It's probably a bit too vivid, but it'll do for now. Okay, let that merge in. Let that merge in. And as I'm in the vein, I'm just thinking I'm going to get a leaf in. Remember, I'm starting pale as always. That leaf is curving towards me. I'm going to put the inference of another one there. And if you look at these leaves, they've got quite a yellow vein. So this will be the vein colour and we'll paint darker for the rest of the leaves. OK, that will do for now. Right, OK, so I'm coming down to a little cluster of flowers here. So I'm going to take some Naples yellow and I'm going to soften it off with a little bit of, do I want to, a bit of white. I think I will have to, it's a little bit on the bright side. Of 
course we've got to be able to see it against the, the paper. Okay, now those are quite white ones. So let me just get a shape in and see what we end up with. I'm not worrying over much about my placement. Okay, so we're sort of looking at that one there. And of course we'll put these in afterwards when it's dry, okay? So we'll have one there. We've got one, no, we've got one down here. Let's just put something in, in there just to get a sort of trumpety effect. This is like the Almost like the base coat, as it were. We're just sketching it in roughly. Right, I'm going to add more Naples to that to get a stronger colour. And I'm coming down to these here. So that one there has one where the petals have curved back. And then we've got, bear in mind the stalk, you've got to sort of link up with the stalk. There's one there, right, here's one coming up here, and here's one coming up here, and here's another one coming up there. Now I'm going to just dip my brush in that pinky colour and just drop that in. And into that one, just so I can keep my eye on the ball, so to speak see where things are going. Right, that's that one. There's one coming out here as well. And that one goes into there. So we'll just do... And they're sort of in little groups. Look, you've got this group here, then you've got that group, then you've got that group, then you've got that group, and so on. In fact, that was similar to one of the other sprigs we painted. So I'm going to, with this pinky colour, I'm going to just sort of give an idea of the twig coming down. I'm probably only going to paint as far as that. Okay, so that's that. Good, okay. So what we can do now is I'm going to look at the um, leaves a little bit more. So I'm going to take the Naples yellow. I started mixing it down there, I think, so you could see. Some of the, oh, it's far too much. I wanted to keep the colour palette quite simple. Right, while this is still fairly I think I might have to change that yellow, it's too creamy for this green. So let's have a little look and see what would be a better alternative. I'm going to just bung it in there, I'm not going to be super. That's a bit too dark. Mm, yeah, cadmium, cadmium yellow, okay. And a bit of Prussian. This is just to give me an idea of where I'm going. I've got far too much there, so let's <laughs> suck a bit of it out. Just use the brush, it's easier. Also, it helps to give me more, less solid colour, more like veins. I'm using a number six brush. I quite, I'm quite really taken to this brush. It has a nice little little curved point on the end and when you get it right it's just uh, rather lovely. Okay this is just to start me getting a feel of where I'm going. Okay let's just get a bit more. Um, is that dried? Let's dry off too much. Mm. 
just add a bit more water if you want to, just to, that those are far too dark and solid, so I think I'm just going to, that's better. I don't, I don't want that solid effect, I want it to look nice and, and relaxed I suppose is the word, that will do. Um, right, we've got this leaf coming towards us here, which is a bit on the solid side, but let's just give the idea of some veins. Oh, this is rather fun. Uh, what's that there? That's a flower. Okay, I better get some bit more colour on it. Um, I'm going to the Naples with a bit of white. And just painting that. You see these little, there's about four little petals and then one that goes underneath. So they're curling back on themselves. So we'll just give an idea of that. And here I need a bit of that pink. And we'll have a little bit of it there. Pull it up a bit. And here, there's a little bit actually on the the tip of where the petal folds back. Okay, um, that's fine. I'm going to just dab that out so it looks a bit like the others. I think sometimes it's quite nice to let things just occur and then say, oh yeah, I rather like that, and then stay with it. Um, Right, I'm going in with a slightly dark, this is more alizarin with a bit of Prussian and I'm just going to go, I don't know how damp this still is, oh it's fairly damp, let's just define those a little bit. So you can just dot it along a little bit. Okay, I think that's coming on quite nicely. Um, right, what I'm going to do now, I might have to let things dry off a bit. I'm just going to put a bit more of this stalk in, just so we know where it is. So I'm putting a bit of green underneath there, because it's really quite red. But we'll drop that dark red in as well. And we want to have a bit of cluster of stalks going on here. See how nicely that's run. And we've got some little, little sort of baby leaves as well. So let's just fill in a few gaps with something. We could always add the, add the white bits, you know, close it up. But it's just, it's almost like joining up the dots a little bit, just to get an idea. We've got these leaves to contend with, but we'll have to cross that bridge. Um, so I want now just a little, a little leaf and another little leaf. It's going over that there. So I've done it while it's wet so it'll cover. And then we've got a little cluster of flowers again. And I'm going with the Naples yellow and the white with a little bit of that pink in. So I'm down here now, so I've got one coming out here, which gives me, and I'm all the time I'm keeping a look over the overall shape. You know, you've got those two big leaves there, you've got two big leaves there. You've got, a, there is a structure to this, and I will try and emulate that, right. That's sort of separated there, and there's something going on there. This one has twisted back on itself with the petal there. Okay, and then let's have this chap here. Oh gosh, it smells absolutely divine. I wish I got to 
smelly video for you. I do hope my head's not in the way, I don't think so. And then let's have, while I'm there, this leaf here. And there's another one in front. And then this big, big leaf. Which is a scary big leaf. So let's just put it in very light. Because we don't want these horrible, you see, dark, you, you know, you've got to get the colour values, the balance right. And talking of balance, I'm just going to dab that out a bit. And I am just going to put the basis of this leaf here. Because we want something dark for these things to work against. I've got more leaves to put in there as well. In fact, I'm going to put, I'm still going to do those flower heads yet. Let's do those flower heads. It's a bit of a tangle up here, so I think I can be forgiven for getting the shape. And of course, once we've got all these little pollen little things in, that's going to look a lot better. Well, I've got that on my brush. Let's put a bit more on there. Likewise there. Right, I'm going to let that dry off and reassess it in a few minutes. Right, that's dried off a little bit. I've just added a bit more to the stalk. Um, I'm cutting it off there. I'm not doing all of it. So let's look and see what we've got. Um, I need to add some more density to the um, leaves up here, I think. Just a little bit. I don't want to go too dark. and take them in a bit more not leaving gaps everywhere but obviously you just want to have a it's a nice nice feeling nice relaxed feeling and coming around this leaf a little bit more just defining the shape a little bit it's lost its direction a bit, so just do that. And likewise here, you can just put in the odd line here and there. I don't like that, so I'm going to take that out again. That's okay. Okay, so let's look at these little buds up here. I'm fairly happy with the ends. I think the dark bits, because remember we've got to get the colour values nice and contrasting. I think these could come up and be a bit more defined now. If we can even go in and do a bit of really fine lines just to bring the changes a bit. I think even when you're doing a nice sort of relaxed watercolour sketch it's sometimes nice to have a little bit of definition just to, well, I don't know really, redefine something just to give a bit more information. And likewise, let's go down. Well, I've got this on my brush. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the little, um, I can't remember what they're called, somebody remind me, these little um, seed heads, stamens, I think they're stamens, yeah. Okay, so I've got um, Naples yellow, some are a bit green, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I'm using a strong mix okay almost straight from the pan one two three four five 
not that we're counting. Um, let's just, because I think you'll find that once you start to get these little details in, then everything else falls into place. So there's a green one in the middle and there's then the little dark yellow ones around and we probably don't need to put the stalks on. Let's just see. And some of these have gone darker. I suppose that's because they've been in fact, what I'm going to do is use that pinky colour. That was the Naples yellow with the alizarin crimson. Just to add a bit of change. Um, that's, that's that one. And oh, that's coming out there. Well, that one's behind that one. I might have to rejig that one. It seems to have lost its way a bit. And down here. And actually I can only see the green one there, but we'll stick these in because I like them. And here, oh they come out all the way down here. Okay, let's have a little greeny thing. And Now, how am I going to reconcile the little sim? Well, I'm going to take my teeny weeny weeny number two brush and I'm going to grab a bit of Payne's Grey, really dilute. And I'm going to There we go. So what you've got there in effect is the shadow. You've got to get some shadow in that one because that's curving back. So just by doing that has probably done the trick. Those have come out a bit dark, so I'm going to balance it out a bit. That's okay. Hopefully, you're starting to see that that looks a bit like honeysuckle. That one's coming out that way. So I'm going to invent a few more petals in there I think. Right. I'm also going to go in here with a bit of it and a bit, oops, too dark. I'm going to start putting a bit of shade in just so we can see that that's all clustered together. And let's put a line down the side of that. Just to get the idea of a bit of a curve. Soften it out, a bit of water, which it needs. 
So this isn't one I would call a free and easy big brush watercolour, but it's a nice little sketch of a botanical study. Now we need to get some um, curves on these um, flowers. So I'm going to go in with a bit of that pinky colour because if you look it comes up and the, these petals fold back on themselves. So if we put a bit of that in it will show that the petal is folding back and we can add a bit more colour as we go along. In fact, with the very slight Payne's Grey, we have got shadow. Just getting a bit of curve in there. Oh, let's go back to that number six. It's too, too tiny. And something with a bit of strength. That's better. And we're going to need a little bit of something under there as well. to show a bit of curve. Let's let's just bung a bit on there while I'm near that leaf. And talking of leaves, let's pick up a bit more green. just gonna dab on that so we've got a similar effect a similar consistent effect oh gosh the perfume really is amazing mm. and I'm just adding a few more little Spriggy bits, as is my want. Right, I don't like this great big. I went a bit over the top on that petal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bit of the pink and I'm going to just sort of add a few more little petals. Disguise it a little bit. Because you can do that, it is allowed. Naples and white, just mix that up a bit. Just 
just adding a few I'm adding a few touches now a bit randomly to be honest because I don't see why not um, we're getting the idea of what the the flower is let's get a bit of dark in places just to Right, I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then I will come back to it. Um, I had to leave this, um, go and do something else. This is the next day actually, so this has opened up quite a bit overnight, but uh, let's not worry about it. Let's just continue. What I've done, um, what I actually s sneaked in before I've packed up for the day, was some dark area in here. Um, I've used the green and I've added a bit more Payne's Grey because I just want to show that there is quite a bit of dark where there's the density of everything coming together just filling in a few little white gaps I do believe it's a question of getting the contrast and you can just define a few things you see these these little um, the buds that haven't quite opened I've made mine a little too fat so by doing this I'm able to just adjust the shape slightly and it's just a little difference that makes a big difference in the end. Okay, so that's that, we'll, we'll leave that for now. Now I've still got to put some leaves in behind here. So I'm going back to my number six brush and the greeny colour that I mixed and I'm just going to have to actually make it work because everything's opened and moved and that's okay and the colors have changed as well because what happens when you leave paint in your palette and it dries out of course you get evaporation and the um, the colors intensify so always bear that in mind so this is okay, we're going in a bit behind here, now this is all bone dry, we can just give a, a, a sort of an idea of this leaf behaving shape, it's an odd phrase, leaf behaving shape, you know what I mean, we're just implying that it's here. There's another little leaf there, so let's just go in with a dark bit. So we're starting to make this up a bit, but that's okay. Don't worry about making it up a bit. And I'm going to go back with some tissue, like I did with the others, just so we get this consistency. And we'll have a bit of the very dark greeny bit. Just in here. And also here now, let's let's get this together a bit now. It still smells absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what's happening here? Oh that goes, okay. I seem to have a leaf going over the top of that. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, now I'm going back to this tiny little brush. I just want some of this really dark red that we've used. Um, let's tidy up this stalk a little bit. Let's just have a few little shreds, fibre of stalk. Mm -hmm. 
lovely. Just a bit wobbly there. And I think I'm just going to just soften that up a little bit. I'm not going to go round each stamen. And just a little bit more dark. Just filling in a gap there. And I'm going to just put, uh, let's go back to number six. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. Oh, I've got some green on my brush. That won't do. Just to add a bit more colour. As we don't have a background to it. And some of this pinky colour as well. Just going to add a few more of the curling back petals just to accentuate that so hopefully people will see even though it's just a little sketch that that is honeysuckle so i think we'll leave it at that um just a quick well it's probably not that quick when i've put all the videos together but it's just a bit of fun remember just go and pick something anything just play with it and don't worry about the outcome. Just play and have some fun. So I hope you enjoy that honeysuckle. Um, I'm not going to do any more with it. And um, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.